welcome to Friendly Feud. I'm your host, Elise Willingham, and today we will have a competition between Team Davison and Team Cardinals all about MSET preparation. Let the games begin. And I need the first competitor from each team, please. And I need the first competitor from each team, please. Hi guys, welcome to Friendly Feud. Hello. Alright, the first question of the night is, what should you do the night before MSET? Get plenty of sleep. Survey says. Congrats, Team Davison. Would you like to pass or play? Play. All right. So there's no strikes on the board, and we're looking for the second or third answer to the question, what should you do the night before I'm step? Your answer is? Stay up till 3 in the morning watching Netflix. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Survey says. All right, Lauren, no answer can really be worse than that. And we're looking for the second or third answer to the question, what should you do the night before an M-step test day? Your answer is? Well, I'm actually smart, so I think I'm going to guess <laughs> eat nutritious foods. Survey says? <laughs> that, was a, that was a way worse answer than the last one. I got to say, I thought you couldn't get any worse. Whatever. Hey, Teresa, we're looking for a good answer to the question, what should you do the night before an MSEP test day? Your answer is? Review test-taking strategies. Survey says? <coughs> okay, and our second question of the night is, what should you do the morning of an MSEP test day? Eat a healthy breakfast. Survey says. Nice job. Would you like to pass or play? Pass. All right, Jill. So it's the second round, and there's no strikes on the board. We're looking for the second or third answer to the question, what should you do the morning of an MSEP test day? Your answer is? Listen to classical music. Survey says. Grace, no strikes on the board, and we're looking for the third answer to the question. What should you do the morning of an MSEP test day? Your answer is? Um, meditate or relax. Survey says? Congratulations to Team Cardinals for winning the last round. For the final round, I need Lauren and Jill back to the stand. Don't move, don't move. Okay, and our third and final question of the night is, what kinds of foods are best for your brain for a test? Elise, I think I'm going to have to go with blueberries. Survey says... <laughs> Congratulations! Would you like to pass or play? I'd like to play. All right. Hey, Trey's had two answers left on the board. What foods are best for your brain? My personal favorite, salmon. Survey says... <laughs> The final answer of the Good morning, DMS students. We're the Friends Broadcasting Group, and here are today's announcements. Students, we need your help. There have been several cafeteria seats damaged recently. While we don't believe that the damage has happened on purpose, we've had to replace the seats, which are $30 each. Yikes. So far, we've spent nearly $1,000 on new seats. Obviously, we'd rather spend the money on positive things for the students in school. What can you do? Please, just sit on the seats as designed and refrain from doing things like twisting and so on. Encourage your friends to take care of these seats. Please understand that th from this point on, students who damage seats will be responsible for paying the replacement costs. Thanks a million for your support from Ms. Fenner and Ms. Paquette. Today's March reading winners are Emma Walker, Sydney Webster, Mira King, and Ella Holt. Please come to the main office during homeroom to pick up your prize. If you are a member of NJHS Student Council, or a junior optimist and plan to attend tomorrow's leadership lock-in from 5 to 10 in the cafeteria, please sign your name on the sheet outside of your sponsor's classroom door. 
We have a change in the middle school softball tryout schedule. Softball tryouts will be changed to 8th grade starting at 4 o'clock and ending at 5.30, and 7th grade tryouts would be from 5.30 to 7. Please see Mr. Schleck in the athletic office if you have any questions. Do you do something really cool outside of DMS? Do you volunteer in the community? Do you have a special talent that you like to practice? Would you like to be featured on a special MSD TV segment? Please submit your name, homeroom, and special talent. We are having a benefit dodgeball tournament on March 27th from 2.30 to 4 at the gym. This is to benefit Mr. and Mrs. Smith, who are both teachers in our district. Now for the science fair. Davidson placed well at the Flint Science Fair at Kettering University. There were many finalists this year. Here are the placings of our finalists. In second place, we had Matthew Davidson. For third place, we had Natalie Benjamin and Jack Baines. Fourth place, we had Grayson Lumsden, Hayden Sitko, Xavier Murphy, and Andrew Mickle. In fifth place, we had Haley Croft, Ember Martin, Eric Hunsinger, Terry Dean, Harry Unger, Hannah Eller, Julie Deming, and Crystal Pace. Congratulations to everyone. Now here's some interviews of the finalists. to come up with an idea and then uh, create an experiment to test that problem. And then uh, they construct a, a trifle board and a paper, and then they take that to Kettering University and compete with other students for prizes. How long have you been doing the science fair? Um, science fair, I've been doing science fair for over 13 years here at uh, Davidson Middle School. Um, but it's been going on for 61 years at the Flint Regional Science Fair. Does Davison usually do well at the science fair? Uh, we do very well. This year we took 15 finalist out, spots out of 34. And so generally each year we do very well. What are the top prizes? Uh, the top prizes include um, uh, Amazon gift cards now um, in the amount of $750. Well, how can you enter science fair? That's a pretty simple process. All you do is go online to the Flint Science Fair and you can sign up. Um, the next year it'll be held in March again in 2018. Who is Davison's biggest competitor? Uh, it's Saginaw Arts and Science Academy. They're a magnet school up in Saginaw County and they bring very good projects. How many students are at the Science Fair? Uh, in the junior division, there's about 176 projects this year, um, and we've brought about 120 of those projects from the Davison Middle School. Do you have any tips for next year's competitors? Yes. Um, get started early uh, is a good piece of advice. Uh, also, look at past projects. I have a website that kids can access to look at past projects that have been successful. And try to be innovative. Try to come up with something um, that's a buzz topic like renewable energy or uh, water shortages. Um, those kinds of things generally do well at the science fair. What are your favorite types of projects? I personally like energy projects because uh, I got a little bit of doomsday prepper in me. And so I tend to like the renewable energy projects. What prizes did Davison collect this year? Uh, this year, uh, we had 15 finalists. The minimum award was a $100 Amazon gift card, um, but we did have one student get second place, which was a $400 um, Amazon gift card. And total, we took home $2,850, so kids are very successful at the fair. About. My project was about bacteria on a dog and where it was the most accumulated. And what, did, what was your reward? Um, I placed third place and I got $300. How was your experience at the science fair? My experience at the science fair was very good. We had good interviews and had a great award ceremony. Congrats to Team Davison for winning the first round.
Now for our second question, I need Grace and I need Teresa. Hi guys, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Great. Good. With no strikes on the board, we're looking for the third answer. Uh, use a bath bomb. Survey says? It's the best game that we play every day. Trisha was diagnosed with a rare form of breast cancer that has gone through several rounds of chemo with very little improvement and is now seeking treatment in Arizona. She is a first grade teacher at Central Elementary and her husband teaches physical science at the high school. Both of them are currently taking unpaid medical leave to fight for this battle. She is also the mother of two young boys who will be joining them in Arizona next week. For this dodgeball tournament, you can make co-ed teams of 10 players for $30 a team, $3 a player. Teams are guaranteed two games. Prizes for winners in team and best team theme. Admission $3 for spectators. Turn in team forms with money to Mrs. Naves by Friday, March 24th. See Ms. Naves for more details. Concession stands will be open. Now for the science fair. Davidson plays well at the Flint Science Fair at Kettering University. There were many finalists this year. Here are the placings of our finalists. For our highest finalist in second place is Matthew Davidson. For third place, we have Natalie Benjamin and Jack Baines. Fourth place, we have Grayson Lumps 